let me show you what it takes to carry power in this kingdom and believe me i don't claim to know everything but this one i know what i'm saying hallelujah the bible says that every man who ministers should minister according to the measure of grace let me show you what it takes to carry the power of the holy spirit by this teaching tonight someone's destiny is opening up because finally listen for some of you this is what you have seen in your dreams and visions this realm this dimension you have been saying lord in terms of the word and prayer that power dimension is the desperate need for my ministry now for my life now let me show you the key are you ready psalm 89 and verse 20 please media quickly project it for us and then i want you all to read the first four words please make sure it is the first four words the first four words are you ready one two read one more time one more time for the last time now hmm. the bible says i have found david but the anointing was not looking for david there was a kind of person david needed to become for the anointing to find him i have found david but it is not david the anointing is looking for the anointing is looking for my servant i have found a man of god in yola but it is not a man of god that i'm looking for i have found john i have found joshua i found him since 2001 but there is a kind of person the anointing and the mantle is looking for he simply calls that person my servant i have found that businessman but it is not the businessman the anointing is looking for it is looking for my servant my servant is not a name my servant is a journey that turns david to become a certain kind of vessel are we together now there are many many people who want the anointing but they do not know that until you become his servant until you become his servant until you become his servant in business his servant in ministry his servant on the crusade ground for as long as you are still david david has his own ambition David has his own destiny. David has his own dreams. You don't use the anointing to do your own thing. You must become my servant. Do you know the journey that translates David to his servant? The name given to that journey is death. Death to everything. I have found David. It was easy finding David. But I'm still finding my servant. I have found the woman. But I'm still looking for my servant to turn her into a prophetess. Hmm. I have found Yola, great preachers, Kaliga Barakosiata. But I'm still looking for my servant. I'm showing you what has separated many people into spiritual cadres. There are some who are still David, wanting the anointing, but others have become his servants get this revelation and it will change your life forever i have found a nice gentleman who has a beautiful musical voice but i'm still looking for my servant i have found someone who opened a pharmacy but i'm still looking for my servant the anointing does not come upon men the anointing comes upon his servants let's go back to that scripture please help four people they will start running now by the anointing i just saw the spirit of grace like a dove just came upon four people and it's an empowerment by the spirit please help them so they don't injure themselves but they are going to start running right now by the spirit Please help them. 
Now listen, I want you to pay attention. Your life is about to change. There is a dimension of glory you are being immersed into. Your ministry and your life will never be the same. The old you is about to give way to a new you that is carrying potent, genuine spiritual power. Hena parika tosi adaba, krate shaleke parusi ata. By wisdom, O oh God, heaven's gates open up with understanding. You order the seasons, creating day and night, turning darkness into light, arranging the stars to your pleasing. Hear me for as long as self and flesh is still there. It is not the anointing of the spirit that will rest upon you. Maybe something else can come upon you. I have found, give us that scripture, David. But I'm looking for my servant. So for 20 years in ministry, you have been David. That is the reason why the anointing, the mantle of your destiny, the, the mantle has hovered around your church. It has hovered around Yola. It has hovered around homes searching for servants. Listen to me. Let's finish that scripture. Finally, David becomes his servant. And the Bible says, with my holy oil, I have anointed that servant. Next verse, reading to 24. With whom my hand shall be established, my arm shall also strengthen him. By reason of the anointing, the enemy shall not exert upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. 23. I will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him. It says, but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him and in my name shall his authority be exalted. Listen to me. Listen to me. Do you know why Jesus was not anointed from birth? Do you know why Jesus was not anointed from age 12? Because the Bible says he had to learn obedience by the things he suffered. Even your Jesus did not get anointed just because he was the son of God. He had to go through the pathway. I have found Jesus. But I'm looking for the one who is prepared to serve the will of the Father. And until age 30, before that anointing came. Let me tell you this. There is no limit to what God can do in your life. There is no limit to the, um, the degree of unction and grace that can come upon you. The key is death that turns ordinary men to become servants. You know what it means to be a servant? The hallmark of servanthood is that you lose the ability to tell God no. Everything that comes from him is yes. For as long as you still have your agenda, for as long as you still have your pride, for as long as you still have your ministry, it is not the anointing from heaven that comes upon you. Tonight, God sent me here to tell someone, he has found you, but he's looking for his servant. He's looking for his servant. Oh, he's looking for his servant to turn you into a genuine apostle, a genuine prophet, a genuine businessman. So in this miracle and impartation service, listen carefully. It is not just about shouting amen. Something must die in your heart. It says in the year that King Uzziah died, I, Isaiah, saw the Lord. Something has to die for you to see. In the year that my pride died, I saw the Lord. 
in the year that flesh died i saw the lord you cannot see him when there are two kings one king must die uzziah had to die to see the other king there cannot be two thrones in your heart no listen carefully i wish i had the time to begin to tell you my journey in the spirit and my journey with god <sighs> but this anointing that we have downplayed that we have limited to just falling down and standing up or limited to just calling names and prophesying as wonderful as that is let me tell you there are layers and there are dimensions and there are levels of the anointing there are virgin dimensions that God wants to. I hope you know that the prophecy upon the church age is that the former and the latter reign. Do you know what that means? There are mantles. This, I hope you know mantles do not leave the earth to heaven. No, no. Every mantle you read in the Bible is still on earth. But there is a kind of believer that must carry it. And it's not by claiming. It's by the sacrifice of death. Help those under the anointing. Spirit of God is pruning and circumcising men. I believe that is Yola is stepping into a prophetic, a very prophetic season. I truly believe that. That there are men and women who are rising by the Spirit. Men and women who are dead enough carry these end time mantles it will take being more than a preacher it will take being more than a man of God it will take being more than a businessman it is for those who have vowed to serve the purposes of the king in life and in death hallelujah